Hi students, now I am going to explain you summary of important properties of different groups that is from group 13 to group 17. The first property which we are going to discuss is atomic radius. You know that it is a trend down the group increases. The reason is very simple, down the group atomic number increases, more and more number of shells are added, so the atomic radius increases. The trend is followed for group 14, 15, 16 and 17, but we find a discrepancy in group 13. What is that? See the elements of group 13 are boron, aluminum, gallium, indium and thallium. Here the atomic radius increases from boron to aluminum, but from aluminum to gallium the atomic radius is decreasing. The reason is because in the case of gallium because of the presence of this 3d10 electrons there will be poor shielding effect thereby the nucleus exerts strong attractions on the outermost electron thereby size decreases. So, therefore, the discrepancy is observed and this is the afterwards there will be increase in the size. So, this is the actual order of atomic radii of group 13 elements. The next one is ionic radius ionic radius will follow the same trend as atomic radius, but this is followed in the case of group 13, 14, 16 and 17, but there will be a small discrepancy you can observe in the case of group 15. What is happening here? Here nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony and bismuth. Here the ionic radius increases from nitrogen to arsenic thereafter it is decreasing to antimony and bismuth. The reason is in the case of antimony and bismuth because of the presence of d and f electrons because of their poor shielding effect the attractions on the outermost electrons by the nucleus will be more therefore, size will be actually little lesser than expected. Therefore, this is the actual order of ionic radii of elements of group 15. The next property is ionization enthalpy it decreases down the group. The reason is down the group atomic radius increases, the distance between the nucleus and outermost electron increases, attractions decreases. Therefore, with less amount of energy only you can knock out the electron. So, here the trend is followed for group 16 and group 17 the trend is perfectly followed, but when comes to group 13 okay, if you see boron, aluminum, gallium, indium and thallium, you can observe a discontinuity between aluminum and gallium and indium and thallium means what from boron to aluminum it decreases, but from aluminum to gallium there will be increase. Similarly, from indium to thallium also there will be increase. So, the increase in ionization enthalpy contrary to the group trend is due to the improper shielding of d and f electrons and this is the actual order. When we go to the 14th group here also you can observe slight increase in the ionization enthalpy from tin to lead that is carbon, silicon, germanium, tin and lead. Here from carbon to tin there will be decrease, but, but from tin to lead slight incre increment is observed again this is due to the poor shielding of d and f electrons. In the case of group 15, it is slightly interesting. IE1 that is first ionization enthalpy will follow the same trend, but when comes to IE2 and IE3, bismuth has slightly higher value. So, here you know nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony and bismuth. Here IE2 and IE3 of bismuth that is slightly high. Why it is slightly high? Because after the removal of one electron, B i plus ion is formed mono pass to ion. The size of the cation is less than the atom, but here the size of the cation is more less than expected and therefore, there will be slightly higher ionization enthalpy is observed. The next property is electron gain enthalpy. Electron gain enthalpy is nothing but the amount of energy liberated when an electron is added to neutral gaseous atom. It decreases down the group. The trend is followed for group 13. 14 and 15, but concerning group 16 and 17 here group 16 elements 
oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium and polonium. Here we are considering fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. Actually the first element should have higher electron gain enthalpy value. But what actually happens is because of relatively small atomic radius when we try to add electron the electron the incoming electron will experience repulsions from the existing electrons. Whereas for the second element that is sulfur and here in the case of chlorine because of reasonably large atomic radius they can easily accommodate the incoming electron. Therefore, more amount of energy is liberated that is higher electron gain enthalpy values can be observed. So, here these are the orders of electron gain enthalpy values of group 16 and group 17. Sulfur being highest for in group 16, chlorine being highest in group 17. Next property electronegativity. Electronegativity down the group decreases because down the group metallic nature increases, tendency to give the electron increases. So, electro positivity increases while electronegativity decreases. The trend is followed concerning group 16 and 17 elements, but when you observe in group 13 elements that is boron, aluminum, gallium, indium and thallium, electronegativity decreases from boron to aluminum. Thereafter, marginal increase can be observed. The discrepancy is due to the discrepancies in atomic size of the elements. Okay. This is the actual order of electronegativity values of group 13 elements. While about group 14 elements, carbon has got higher electronegativity, it decreases to silicon and concerning the rest of the elements, silicon, germanium and tin will have same value while lead has slightly higher value and this is the order of electronegativities of group 14 elements. In group 15, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony and bismuth, it decreases from nitrogen to antimony okay? and antimony and bismuth will have same values. The next property is density, density increases, okay? but here in the case when you consider carbon, one of the allotropes of carbon diamond, from diamond to silicon it decreases and thereafter actually increment can be observed. The next property is electrode potential. For 13 group elements, when you considered standard reduction potential value for M3 plus M system, highest to pass to value we can observe for thallium. That is actually thallium is only the element having the positive value, while highest negative value for aluminum. This indicates that aluminum would prefer to be in the plus 3 state being more electro positive. When we consider M plus M system, highest positive value you can observe for aluminum while highest negative value for gallium in alkaline system. Considering halogens, here for the half cell reaction, the electrode potential that is x2 plus 2 electrons giving the halide ion, here highest positive value you can observe for fluorine that indicate that fluorine has got the highest tendency to accept the electron. Okay? So, this is the actual order. The next important property is about oxidation states. Before I discuss about the oxygen states corresponding to the different groups, first of all you should know what is group oxidation state. Group oxygen state corresponds to total number of valence electrons that are present for that particular element. Okay? Here if you consider the general electronic configuration of group 13 elements, it is N S 2 N P 1. Total 3 electrons are present in the outermost shell. Therefore, the group oxygen state corresponds to plus 3. In the similar manner, in group 14, the general electronic configuration is N S 2 N P 2. Therefore, the group oxidation state corresponds to plus 4. In the similar manner, for group 15 plus 5, for group 16 plus 6 and for group 17 it is plus 7. Okay. Apart from the group oxygen state, the elements of a particular group will exhibit other oxygen states also. When we consider group 13, apart from plus 3, they can exhibit plus 1 state. Okay. In the case of boron, because of the sum of the first 3 ionization enthalpies are high, for boron 
it will be difficult to exhibit plus 3 state. Whereas, for aluminum, because the sum of the first 3 ionization enthalpies are relatively less, it can exhibit plus 3 state comparatively easily and uh, that is the reason why we can also say that aluminum is more electropositive element. Okay. And uh, the tendency to exhibit plus 3 state decreases down the group and plus 1 state increases that is due to inert pair effect. That means, here the general electronic configuration is n s 2 n p 1. After the losing of this electron, it acquires plus 1 state. In the plus 1 state, there will be reluctance of this paired up s electrons to participate in the chemical bonding that is called as the inert pair effect. The tendency to exhibit inert pair effect increases down the group. Coming to group 14, here as already told the group oxygen state is plus 4, the other oxygen state that the group exhibits is the plus 2. Carbon being more electronegative element among the elements of group 14, it can exhibit minus 4 state. Okay. The plus 4 compounds are covalent. Okay. In heavier members, the tendency to show plus 2 oxygen state increases. This is due to inert pair effect. That is here, when you consider the general electronic configuration n s 2 n p 2, when these two electrons are lost in the plus 2 state, again there will be reluctance of paired up s electrons to participate in the chemical bonding. Okay. So, lead will exhibit highest magnitude of inert pair effect. Okay. Now, the lighter elements like silicon and germanium in plus 2 state they act as reducing agents. That is they reduce other compounds and they acquire plus 4 state. Whereas, the heavier elements like lead in plus 4 state they function as oxidizing agent. That means, they oxidize other compounds they themselves get reduced that is to the stable plus 2 state in the case of heavier elements. Coming to the group 15 as already mentioned plus 5 is the group oxygen state, the other oxygen states are minus 3 plus 3. Okay. Nitrogen will exhibit plus 1, plus 2, plus 4 when reacts with oxygen. That is in the compounds of oxygen, nitrogen will exhibit plus 1, plus 2, plus 4 states whereas, phosphorus can also exhibit plus 1 and plus 4 states in its oxo acids. In the case of group 15, the tendency to exhibit minus 3 oxygen state decreases because the electronegativity decreases, the tendency to exhibit minus 3 oxygen state also decreases and also the stability of plus 5 oxygen state also decreases. Again, we can attribute the reason to the inert pair effect. That is after the removal of 2 electrons in the plus 3 state, these elements will exhibit inert pair effect. And among plus 5 compounds of bismuth, the only compound that is known is bismuth pentafluoride. Coming to group 16, the group oxygen state is plus 6, the other oxygen states are plus 4 and plus 2. Oxygen can exhibit minus 2, minus 1, plus 1 and plus 2. Sulphur, selenium and tellurium, they can exhibit minus 2, plus 2, plus 4 and plus 6. Polonium will exhibit plus 2 and plus 4. In the case of group 16 also, inert pair effect can be observed. Okay? The stability of plus 6 state decreases and plus 4 state increases. In the case of halogens, the group oxygen state is plus 7. All elements will exhibit minus 1 oxidation state because these are the most electronegative elements in the periodic table. Except fluorine, other elements can exhibit positive oxygen states like plus 1 in the ground state, plus 3 in the first excited state, plus 5 in the second excited state, plus 7 in the third excited state. Plus 4 and plus 6 states also can be observed in the oxides and oxo acids of chlorine and bromine. Now, I shall discuss about melting point and boiling point. Actually, the decrease in the group, number of factors actually play a role in the trend actually. So, here when we consider 13th group, boron has highest melting point and down the group, it increases up to gallium. That is boron, aluminum, gallium, indium and thallium. So, melting point decreases from boron to gallium and then increases. Based on the actual values, 
this is the order ok. Now in group 14 carbon has got highest melting point and from carbon it decreases to tin and there thereafter increases to lead and here also based on the actual values this is the order of the melting points and in group 15 nitrogen has lowest value being it is a gas actually it has got lowest value from nitrogen to arsenic it increases and thereafter it decreases to bismuth. So, here arsenic is the element in group 15 that has got the highest melting point and based on the values this is the order and when we discuss group 16 here you are finding it other trend it is increasing down the group ok. It is increasing down the group from oxygen to tellurium and last from tellurium to polonium actually it is increasing. So, this is the element based on the actual values tellurium is the element with the highest melting point and of course, in group 17 it increases down the group. Now, coming to the boiling points here silicon has the highest and then decreases down the group ok while in group 16 it increases down the group up to tellurium and then decreases ok.